The rivalry showdown between heated and hated rival ASU for U of A goes beyond bragging rights in the Grand Canyon State. Of course, a number of people in Pac-12 country were also looking at this game as well, and that included the Pac-12 Network, who brought all the big boys and big girls here to broadcast their coverage of college football on their end as well. And they weren't disappointed, but they did see, as usual, an Arizona team that just could not get over the hump, but seemed to compete until the last quarter, only to end up falling apart. Last year it was easy for guys to give up. Um, this year we play for each other um, all year long, no matter what curveball gets thrown at us, no matter what happens, I think these guys really stuck together. Um, just played their uh, hearts out. Rivalry games are great. Rivalry games is what make college football so special. Rivalry games is what we all do this for. Um, but uh, it's not going to be a great memory. So the best memory are in the future. And uh, I can't wait for what next year's memory is going to feel like. Once again, it was Arizona defensive coordinator Don Brown's last game as a Wildcat. Of course, he'll be moving on to bigger and better things as a head coach. We'll explore more of that tomorrow on News 4 Tucson at 10 p.m. Of course, Don Brown is expected to meet with the media to talk more about his next move. And of course, everything and anything he got out of the old Pueblo in Tucson, Arizona, and of course, the Arizona Wildcats. So we'll have complete coverage, of course, all day Sunday. Reporting from Sun Devil Stadium here in Tempe, Arizona, just after the Territorial Cup, Paul C. Kala, News 4, Tucson.